Right, so what do, what do we got going on here today? Well, I'm glad you brought your camera because uh, there could be some fireworks. Mm. Uh, it's nude casting. Nude casting. Yes, so you've got to be especially careful. Don't try and do this at home. Mm. Professionals only, kids. <laughs> yes. Check the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Whoa, yeah. 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 Garbage. That's what we're using. Fuel. Garbage fuel. There you go. You don't have to put it in a landfill. Yeah. And uh, it's got the same carbon as your regular coal or grow room uh, filtration systems, which we have some of here. What is that material? It's a grow room filter. Mm. Lots of carbon. Yeah, and you can get high up the smell. Mm. That's handy. Sure. So we're going to melt down this old uh, lamp fixture and some door frames here. To... Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 Get in there, metal. <laughs> All right, high, high speed now. Out. Yeah. You don't want to get one of those in the eye. Here's, here's the mold we're going to be attempting to cast today, or the scrap aluminum. Yeah, so this is the actual uh, clamp that fits on the motor that attaches it to the bike. And it's also a shroud for the fan. Mm. So uh, hopefully I've got everything in this that you need to make a weed whacker into a motor, bicycle motor. Alright, we're getting some melt, molten action going on there now. Yeah! This is an old propane stove with some brick liner. Get some door frames in here. It's coming along nicely. Alright, so we got this nice molten aluminum here. It's pretty hot. Very hot. Don't drop it on your sandals. Uh -huh. Try not. Pour it all in one. But this is a one off job, right? Looks pretty good. Let's have a look at this have thing. Have a look at the mold. Get ready to be disappointed. Theoretically, this should come apart. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. looky here. Let's see if it got into the far, reach, far reaches of the mold. I'd be really interested to see if it did. And just looking at it from now, I think I've done it. Yeah. Save the casting sand. It's Australian, you know. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it completely flooded the mold. That's what I like. Very nice. Very good. Oh, yeah. Look at all that work I did all last week. And it completely flooded it. Oh, man. <laughs> There'll be people riding their bikes tomorrow on this. And I'll say, oh. You don't have to have a fancy factory to make your own aluminum? No. No, you can get rid of those fucking global burners cheaply. Oh, look at it. <laughs> And drunk too. Don't try this at home, folks. Let's let's see it beside the mold here. Oh, all right. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you built this mold earlier in the week? Yeah, well, it took me a couple of weeks, but I'm really lazy, so, you know, I'm chronically lazy. I'm sick, chronically lazy. How does this thing fit? How does this thing fit? Uh, I think it fits like this. Yeah. Oh, the sprues and the runners have just oh, yeah. stopped me plonking it where it's exactly going to fit. Well, let's line to, up these screw holes here. I have to have a look at it with a look skill at saw. Look at that. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm a little bit over there. But that's good. It's near enough. It's I'm good. a sixteenth of an inch in. Just a little uh, fine tuning here. This thing has a mind of its own. The switch is sticking in. Also, don't try this at home. Oh shit. Looks like it needs a bit more cleaning up. A little more trimming around there. Okay, so a little more trimming here. How's that fit? Yeah, it fits. Look at that. Because it needs to fit out of here. Like, where's my pencil? So that just gonna clip right on the old mountain bike. Yeah.